Hello. Well, it's been a while since I've uh, posted any videos. I apologize to anybody who even is interested remotely. Um, I, of course, the procedure of getting the engine torn down has taken some time. Uh, part time, obviously, it's a hobby. Uh, I had a couple friends uh, came up, several friends that showed up, helped me with some of the heavy lifting and disassembling of the engine. Um, we have it completely disassembled and went through it to find out anything that needed to replace. Uh, unfortunately, it's very difficult to find parts for these old engines. Um, very difficult. Uh, but I ran across a, a guy who had a couple of uh, spare parts engines. Uh, they weren't running. Uh, they were missing a lot of items. and uh, But that was the whole point. Uh, the internal uh, parts were in pretty good condition. Um, they had been still one of them had been stored outside and it had some rust. The good news is b both uh, the parts engines had a good turbine nozzle and turbine rotor assembly. Um, they were immaculate, especially once cleaned up, uh, which I will show you in in here in a little bit. Uh, anyway, what this video clip or this video is going to contain are some just little short clips of disassembly starting from getting it off the stand to turning it in front end down uh, on a wooden block assembled by me as a um, country way of holding the engine in a vertical position uh, tail end up so we can start disassembly so you'll see that as we progress and excuse our non-professional methods here I have a little hydraulic engine hoist and uh, some straps and chain and a little uh, ingenuity and yet yeah, no it is not uh, S&S turbines or Jet City far far from it but I'm trying to make do and I'm trying I think it'll work we get the I'll show you what we've done in the disassembly and then I will make another <clears throat> separate video and post it showing the actual uh, parts, maybe some close-ups and what's going on. Uh, then we'll go ahead and um, make a video regarding the new the parts after being cleaned and what they look like because we're collecting them together now to hopefully maybe later this summer begin reassembly. And if possible, I would like to have this running before winter strikes again here is in a few months. Unfortunately, uh, this is uh, the beginning of July and we know time flies, especially summer months here. So anyway, okay, well, enjoy and we will um, do a wrap up here just uh, right afterwards. Thanks. The wrench, the nuts. Right now, it's right? in the oh, man, it's kind of the, uh, that's, why we need, that's why we need to know. It's the impact, too. <laughs> I don't know how to be that tight, does it? What? It is now. Well, that big one on top, well, that's John. Yeah, he, he probably snubbed it so it wouldn't vibrate right out. Traveling. You lose that on the next day. Yep. Okay, now put it in there. <laughs> what are you doing, too? Yeah, so what are you doing? Yeah, off, too. What's that? I got it. Which one do you want to lose? Yeah. All of them. They're all coming this up one next. next. Yeah. yeah, we don't care about it. Like, yeah, you might, as well, yeah, might as well do them all. Right. I don't know. Is this braided one? Does that go somewhere? You maybe I'll keep it on. Possibly, yeah. Well, okay. or or you either could stay attached here. That, that's a right angle. That's not going to pull through here, but the straight one probably would. I don't know. We'll see, or just leave it. But it's well, maybe, only not, maybe it'll have to come apart. Yeah, I don't know. Right, as long as you don't pinch it, we're probably okay. If we have a right branch for that. What? I'd that say it's a drawer's open there. Five first. eighths. You can pull it on out. There's even, I got line wrenches too if you need. Yeah. That'd probably work. They're not that tight. Yeah, so. Because it's not metric, is it? No. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. When it would get to be tight. Let me use that adjustable and I'll take loose. 
There's a drain line down here for you. Oh, well, duh. Now, now you tell us. This is the... Whoa, Whoa! What the hell? There's new oh, fucking man. shoes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, you didn't wear any game clothes. Up here. All right, where's... There's like tons of rags right here. You can grab one, dude. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna piss some more, maybe. Yeah, hold it up here where I can piss some more. Where do we start drinking? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this fuel pump control governor assembly off the accessory housing. Do that here real quick. Get that out of the way. Another thing done. in an even pattern so we don't have a bunch of tension on just one side or the other. These are self-locking nuts as you would imagine so they will have to be wrenched out all the way to you get past the, pretty much almost the last couple of threads. Part of the fun. And of course you can't get a socket on it. No, that'd be silly. Pretty tight quarters here so it's a boxed in box in wrench <clears throat> you know 12 point whatever so it's got a lot of different angle choices to get a grip but you don't have a whole lot of room on this one to this nut here it's got a lot of area to swing the wrench so you get a lot of turns good part of a turn on every stroke but uh, what like this one here it's a little more restricted Okay, we're to the end here. I can turn it with my fingers. I guess maybe there was four turns or so. As you can hold this up here, I can't see anything. Okay, nut on center. See that red? That's like a plastic, I don't know, whatever, nylon. That, uh, Maybe that in the way this is crowned over, it makes it difficult to turn. It keeps it from backing loose. It doesn't have safety wire holes, so I guess they just, that way they know it won't vibrate off. There's a tab welded on here on this top, as you can see. And then it's underneath that case bolt cover or whatever that would be called. So we'll try to avoid having to, uh, I don't want to take that part off. If I can get this loose enough, it may just be enough to give it a little clearance to, to move. I'm not real sure. And it's moving. But as we said, I don't think it's going to move enough. Wow. That would require taking this loose. fuel control unit. Oh, I'll try to get this up here. It's zoomed in pretty good. I'll have to resume here. I'm sorry. And then here we have uh, a couple other accessories. This is the uh, <clears throat> this is the actuator for the power setting which is controlled from the panel with a, just a simple toggle switch. It's just a 28 volt DC motor that runs forward or backward geared down into this this little shaft here um, has a well, in fact, that is where this little lever, there's a bell crank down in there. That lever fits on the shaft, then when as this rotates, it actuates your power setting. The other item here is the, is the tack generator for our percent RPM indicator. As you can see, it's shaft driven. There's a connector there, and this generates your three-phase AC sine wave um, signal that is sent to your indicator in the cockpit or on, in my case on the console. And you take, this is an easy way, you um, take a marker and write on these bags so we got all our nuts. Uh, keep your nuts in order. In fact, you know what? There's some more nuts. Those need to be placed in that bag. I'll get to doing that. 
Well, there's your engine without any accessories, so another step. Uh, the next thing to do is, it's about ready to come loose from this stand. I just have to disconnect uh, a clamp here holding, it's holding the fuel line here to the front of the engine. That, because this, this line comes from the pump and filters, this stays with the, the stand. Get that loose, um, and we're pretty much ready to lift this up off of here. Get the stand back out of the way, then we can work with the engine hoist. Okay, that's the uh, conclusion of this first disassembly video, uh, part one. Uh, we will continue in uh, part two, part three, part four, etc., until we can get everything uh, covered uh, without making each individual video, you know, too long and too boring. 
I'm going to work on getting the next several videos uh, uploaded to YouTube uh, showing the disassembly of the engine. Uh, it, it is now all torn down into uh, small pieces and bolts and nuts. So uh, in the process of cleaning and evaluating, uh, there's some work to be done. And I'll try to document that as I go along. Um, uh, anyway, appreciate your interest, again, as I said earlier. Um, so stay tuned and we'll see you on uh, part two. Thanks.